Hello and welcome. Do you know the smallest thermal goggles on the market? So small that you can put it in your pocket. So light that you can wear it on a tactical helmet or even a baseball cap in front of your eyes without any problems to have your hands free. So compact that you can mount it in front of a red dot or rifle scope. It's the Tilo from Anders Industries from Berlin, Germany. The two top products here are the Tilo, which is currently the smallest thermal imaging goggles or attachment on the market, and the Tiger, one of the most powerful thermal attachment for long guns in the field of uncooled thermal imaging device. Both are characterized by a special robustness and setting options, which can clearly be described as a unique selling point. If you look at the specs and have this little power pack in your hand, it's amazing what now technically are possible in the official and even civilian sector. Whether for police sniper or special forces in the military and even a civilian version for the hunter. In this web series I would like to introduce the Tilo and the Tiger in details and show the most diverse application scenario. As the smallest thermal imaging goggles in the world with a very short design of only 4 to 6 cm and a weight around 130 gram, the Tilo is the shortest design for a 500 or 1000 meter device on the market. The lens shutter is integrated and switch the device on and off. In addition, the lens flap starts the calibration. The Tilo has an integrated headlamp with white light with up to 160 lumens, a red light and an infrared light. And these lights are also have flashing modes. Furthermore, the Tilo is waterproof according to IP68 and has an impact resistant. It means 26 falls from a height of 1.22 meters. Y26, if you're matching a cube, it had exactly 26 edges, sides and faces. Therefore, 26. How small the Tilo is can be seen here in a direct comparison with a device from another manufacturer with similar, if not quite as good, performance. It can be used in temperature range from minus 30 up to plus 60 degrees Celsius and there is the SPC, the subpixel collimation and the AI upscaling. But now everything in order. We will go into each of these points in detail. The Tilo has an interface on the back side. For example, you can attach an eye cup on this. This eye cup prevents lateral light falling on the display and disturbing the viewing on the small monitor of the Tilo. On the other hand, it prevents the light from the display from falling on the face as a scattered light, which could then reveal your position at night. Therefore, the eye cap is a necessary accessory. A shutter cup is also available. It opens and closes depending on whether the Tilo is pressed against your face in front of your eye or released again. The interface on the back also allowed the Tilo to be mounted in front of a weapon optics, for example. But more on that later. On the left upper half of the housing there is an interface for the helm adapter. It's a small plastic plate that can be attached here, which snaps in the appropriate adapter for the helm. However, it can still be rotate 360 on the vertical axis for example, to move out of the field of view. You also can flip it up to carry it safely and use it as a helm lamp. On the left side of the case is the battery compartment with a waterproof screw on the bottom. The Tilo is powered by the Lithium CR123 battery. And by the way, the batteries from Panasonic have proven to be the best at the moment with the longest runtime. Or Operation with an appropriate rechargeable battery is also possible. And this type of battery even lasts longer than the lithium battery. 
but it's more likely to run out in cold temperature than the lithium battery. So you should adapt the use to your environment temperature and your mission. There is also a video output on the right side of the case, through which you can pick up the image from the Tilo and view it on an external monitor or record it on an external recorder. In the next part we show the three-stage operating concept. Simple, what the buttons are for and the menu settings. We also briefly introduce the built-in lamps. For this, stay tuned, be safe, it will stay exciting.